So this is the new Boss Buck 600 pound stand and fill sled feeder. We can start down on the bottom and look at some of the great features. The sled is something that is very important for a lot of guys. You know, when you're moving a feeder in different situations, if your angle of your legs right here is, is not as bent as this, so it's, it makes them hard to move. As you notice, it's very easy for me to move from one end to the other. And that can also be important after you've had a feeder out for a long time and a lot of game have come to it. You can get depressions, water begins to come into those areas if you're lucky enough to get rain. And with this here, you can easily move it from place to place when it comes to building this this comes in a box so if you're having a drop shipped in you pick it up at a local retail store or whatever there all the parts are pretty much pre-assembled the building of this is super fast everything just kind of snaps together a few bolts and you're good to go when you get into the working mechanisms and the the basis for this feeder some of the things i really like is you can see the cage that's built in all the way around on four sides that's really important when you start talking about varmints you start talking about other animals birds whatever getting in trying to spill or waste grains trying to tear into the wires trying to tear into the motor of this i mean that's just something that happens a lot of times when you have a feeder but if you've got good heavy duty wire built into your feeder like this it's going to lessen if not eliminate the ability for those undesirable species to get in there if you look a little bit further, this plate is really a cool design because what this is designed for is to have the feed funnel out to the sides and not collect underneath. Now granted, when your feeder goes off, it's gonna throw a big pattern 360 degrees the way this is designed. But some feed always falls straight down. Well, when it falls straight down when you're using a stand and fill feeder, what happens is a lot of the deer, a lot of the game species you're trying to feed, they can't get to it and or they're, if they're in velvet, they start damaging their antlers trying to get in, uh, in that growing period while they're trying to get underneath it with this plate it's gonna help push all that feed out to the side and lessen or lower that situation. As you go up a little higher, you're gonna see the little screens right here. Basically, that's gonna give you visibility to how much feed is in here. So if you've got a scouting camera off at a distance and you no longer can see yellow, you know you're running out of corn, you're driving by, you can see it helps you clue into you when you need to be able to get ready to go ahead and fill this. Now, as you look inside this, all of the working components, your motor is underneath, all of this it's encapsulated into a box and pushed up in there once again prying hands and, and other species can't get to it and your battery and your timer is set up in this place right here as you can see to where it's not going to be easily accessible for any of those varmints or anything that need to get in there the timer itself is very easy to use it's it's you know like any timer once you use it a couple times you're going to learn its individual nuances it's got some quick set features that are going to give you things you automatically need or you can go to custom like I do and you can begin to then program in a variety of feed times variety of feed days and a variety of amounts of feed that go out based on your management goals for the specific location that you're setting it up at this particular model of feeder holds 600 pounds of feed and it is a true stand and fill feeder in the sense that you can stand here on the ground take your bags of feed and begin to pour it in it also has a couple of real neat little features that come together when you can hang this lid off to the sides so you don't have to set it all the way down on the ground us old guys don't have to pick it up and it comes with a solar charger that solar charger and the way this is built to handle 600 pounds of feed is really key for those guys that want to come out they want to fill this they want to set it up and then I won't have to worry about it for a considerable amount of time so regardless of how you're using it setting a multitude of feed times whether you're setting it to go off once or twice a day whether you need this to be able to help you manage whether you need to move it around this 600 pound boss buck sled stand and fill feeder is going to be a model that you definitely want to spend some time looking at and setting up on your hunting lease